Hello and um, welcome to this training video. In this video we will learn how to set up a Planet 8 mobile client with an Azure AD authentication. This will allow a user to log in to a launchpad associated with the mobile client using Active Directory. There are some prerequisites for this process to work with P8 and SAP. The SAP NetWeaver must be version 7.20 and above and have single sign-on enabled. And Neptune DXP for SAP Planet 8 must be version 6.0.0 or above. There are four main steps to complete. First, we will download the metadata XML file from SAP. Second, we will create an enterprise application within Azure. Thirdly, we'll import the XML file into the new Azure application and finally, we can copy the relevant secrets and keys from Azure into the P8 mobile client. So to get started, we will download the metadata XML file from SAP. The easiest way to trust a SAML 2.0 identity provider is to import its metadata XML file. The XML file includes the address and name of the identity provider, the list of endpoint configurations the identity provider supports and the public key certificates for decryption and checking of the identity provider's digital signature. Since Azure AD uses SAML for single sign-on, we will download the XML from your SAP system to import into Azure in the next step. The procedure starts with in the SAP GUI. Enter the transaction SAML2 and log in to the SAP NetWeaver system. Choose the metadata push button, uncheck the security token service checkbox, and then choose download metadata and save the XML file. Now we can jump into the Azure portal. To create a new enterprise app within the Azure portal, select enterprise applications and then all applications. Press New Application, choose SAP as the cloud platform, and then select SAP NetWeaver from the gallery. Change the name if required, and then hit Create. Go to the single sign-on menu item in the Enterprise app, select SAML, to edit the settings of the SAML configuration and here you upload the metadata file from SAP. This will then populate all the details required within the Azure Enterprise Application SAML configuration. Next, navigate to App Registrations within Azure. Find the Enterprise app you just created Select Authentication from the left menu and change the Web Redirect URI for your system. Next, on the left, open Certificates and Secrets. Create a new client secret. and then copy the secret that was generated. Along with the two app IDs for the enterprise application, which is the client ID and the tenant ID. Now we can head into our Planet 8 instance. Here I will create a new mobile client as your authentication in P8 is done at the mobile client level because the P8 system is running within SAP, so an SAP login is required to access P8. However, to allow account access to applications made within P8 via a mobile client linked to a launchpad, this authentication is possible with Azure. Within the mobile client, under authentication, 
open the Azure tab and switch on the enable switch. Next, copy the tenant ID, client ID, and client secret copied from the Azure portal into their respective fields. For the scope, include user.read, profile, open ID, offline underscore access, and email, all separated by spaces. And these are the mandatory open ID defined scopes. The user principal name is preferred underscore username. This is the key for the value of the username passed from Azure AD to Planet 8 in the ID token. Finally, press save to set the authentication method into action within Planet 8. 